In this tutorial, I'll show you an alternative way to create a series of lights, and we'll do it for, say, track lighting. And I've showed in a previous tutorial how you might use an array modifier for doing something similar, but in this case, we're going to duplicate the lights uh, with an old technique called dupliverts. But um, let's see what I have in here. I have this light in the scene, and it's just a regular emission light. All right, I have the axis, local axis set, so it's pointing this direction, and it's not very bright, 1.1. But all I have to light the scene currently is this big giant flat light. But let's say we're creating our gallery and we want track lights instead because they give a more dynamic light to the scene. So I'm going to get rid of that emission, that big light here in a second. So one of the easiest ways you can do it is you can just create a, uh, let's go over here, look in this mode. We'll, we'll add maybe, a, we'll add a path to the scene, but or a cer maybe we'll add a circle to the scene. We'll just cut it down in size. Let's see. All right, we have a we have our little mesh circle here. Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up here like this first in size. And I'm gonna go into edit mode. Let's see if we can see it. This is really a bad mode for editing. I can tell. Let's try it in texture mode that might make it easier. All right, there's the points of the circle. All right, so I'm going to grab some of these and just get rid of them. All right, I'll get rid of those and I'm going to select all of these and I'll just uh, scale them on Y. Kind of straighten it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of give you the idea. All right, and see, let's see where it's actually located in the scene. It's there, and height-wise, we can move it up like this, and then I can see length-wise, it needs to be much longer in the X direction. So we'll put it like that here, and that's what we'll use to light this scene. We'll move it back instead, like this. Okay, so now I have my curve in the scene. Let me see how many vertices are on there. There's quite a few, so that's going to be quite a few lights. We'll just see how blender can handle it in no, for nodes this is, should be pretty cool okay so now I'll take the light I'm just gonna move it down out of the way here and I'm gonna then parent it to the to this circle like this where it's really it's a circle object of course and then I control P I'm gonna parent it to there so now it's parented to this then I'm gonna go select the cur the curve uh, and then I'm gonna come up here to the object data button object then down here I'm going to press verts. All right and immediately when I do that what it does it basically duplicates the object at the vertex points of the circle and it doesn't look like it's exactly placed but that's because of the location of my light my this light here relative to the parented location if I move it back into here say for instance or down like that you can see it gets closer to the origin what I needed to do to make to really make it work right you can see there's that point that point needs to be lined up to this but uh, what I should have done is grab that the reason it's offset a little bit is because the uh, well, let's see if we can do this we'll try and do it anyway yeah, let's see if we can do this we have to move the transform the origin to the geometry let's see what happens okay so there it is so now it's more aligned with the this curve it's not perfect because it started from a circle so it doesn't know where exactly where to align it to but now if I take the this one piece that's associated with the main one that we're duplicating and if I line it up so it's sitting up on the curve like that then it stays aligned essentially with with that curve. All right. So let's see what we have in All right. So let me move let's get rid of this one here. This is on a another layer. I don't need to get rid of it. I see it's down on this layer, so I'm just going to get rid of the light like that. Okay. So now we're just illuminating with these with well frankly what we're doing is we're illuminating with one light so far oh, we're only illuminating with this 
that object right there. You see these? I can't pick these planes right here because they're not individual objects yet. All right, but I can pick that one, which is our initial light in the scene. If I come up here and I look at it, and if I turn it up, you'll see now I'm lighting the scene. Light, well, I know, you know what? It's actually working already. Son of a gun. Usually you have to make the duplicate. If you were doing this as an object and you wanted to do the regular objects, you'd have to hit press Control A. It'd be the same as this menu here, Control A, and then make the duplicates real. And then you would be able to have individual objects. And then you could control the lighting of the individual objects. Well, the nice thing about having the lighting in the scene like this is that I can come over here to this mode in here. Let me make that my centerpiece. And then I can just move the lights together. Or the really cool thing is I'm on the local axis. So maybe I'm on, there's Y. So I'll press R, Y, Y. Oops, R, Y, Y. And then I can actually change the angle of all the lights simultaneously. Oh, it's a great, powerful tool because that's exactly the kind of work you want to work with here. I'll just put them right up against the scene. So then we come up here and look at our objects in the scene. And we can see the difference in there like that. Of course, you would want to put a spot to prevent this light from coming down here on the back side. In here, embed those in a cone like I've done before inside a cylinder like that. All right. Well, hope that gives you some ideas because it's a powerful lighting trick and it should help you light your scene well. All right, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.